What is structural engineering? Hi, I'm Matt and I'm a structural engineer and I'm going to be talking about what structural engineering is and how my definition of it has evolved over time as I've been in the profession for a couple of years. As a student, my definition of structural engineering was designing a building for all the forces that it had to take so it didn't fall down. So take for example a skyscraper. A skyscraper, we're going to design it so it doesn't fall down under its own self weight but we're also gonna to have to design it for all the people that's gonna be using the building, all the furniture, all the equipment that's inside the building, but also all the forces such as wind and earthquakes that it's gonna be taking throughout its lifespan. I like to use the analogy that a building is similar to a human body. The architect is going to be responsible for the overall vision of the building. So for example, for a human body, you're gonna have your own shape, you're gonna have how tall you are, your skin color, your hair color, similar to a building the architect is gonna be responsible for how how tall it is, what, what its function is going to be, how how big the footprint is, how, how it looks. Then you're gonna have us, the structural engineers, we're gonna be responsible for the skeletal system of the building. We are gonna be designing the bones, the tendons, the muscles, the ligaments of the building so it doesn't fall down. What do I mean by the skeletal system? What exactly is that for a building? Well, it's the foundations, it's the beams, it's the columns, it's the floor systems, it's the walls, all the things that are holding the building up. That's what the skeletal system of the building structure is gonna be. So for example, for a wood house, when they're building it, you're gonna have all the wood studs, all the wood walls, all the roof trusses, the floor systems in place. That's what the skeletal system is for that house. For a concrete building, you're gonna have the reinforcing steel, you're, then you're gonna pour the foundations and then they're gonna keep doing that until you have a whole skyscraper. Then after the structure is complete, that's when they start putting on the skin of the building, the facade, the windows, the cladding to give the building its, its final look. You also have the mechanical engineers that are responsible for the building's respiratory system. They're gonna be having ducts going in and out of the building and all throughout and it's responsible for basically getting good air in and taking bad air out uh, similar to what our body does. Then you have the electrical engineers which are responsible for the building's nervous system. They're gonna have circuits, conduits running throughout the building so it can function properly similar to our nervous system. Then you have the plumbing engineers which are responsible for the building's circulatory system or cardiovascular system. That's equivalent to the arteries and veins pumping uh, blood throughout our bodies. The plumbing engineers will have their pipes and drains going throughout the building to basically get the good water in and take the bad water out. As I've been in the profession for a couple years, my definition of structural engineering has definitely not changed, but more of that it's evolved. I remember one time I went to a CIOS convention or a structural engineering professional society here in Southern California. And they were talking about some of the professionals that went out during some of the, the natural disasters that happened, such as the Northridge earthquake, uh, earthquakes in Japan, in Mexico. Pretty much they were going there right after the damage has been done. And I remember one image of an apartment building just completely collapsed, just completely pancaked. And as a structural engineer, I'm thinking, that's not right, this building shouldn't be collapsing like this. But I remember hearing stories of families on the side of the road. By the looks on their faces, you could see that they were in pain, they were crying. And by the looks of a hopelessness on their faces, you could see that they just lost everything. To them, a building didn't collapse. To them, they just lost their homes, they just lost um, their businesses. They lost a lot more than just the building. And that's when I realized that structural engineering isn't just designing buildings so they don't fall down. Whenever we design office buildings, we are protecting someone's business, their livelihood, their means of providing for their own family. Whenever we are designing houses or apartment buildings, we aren't just designing the house, we're designing someone's home. We're protecting their families, we're protecting where they grew up in, where they're gonna raise their children in. And whenever we're designing schools, we aren't just designing the classrooms, we are protecting someone's child, someone's son, someone's daughter. So yes, structural engineering is preserving the past, is building the future, but it's also protecting it.
Thanks for watching. If you have your own definition of what structural engineering is to you, please comment below and make sure to hit the subscribe button.